31 cars are lined up on pit road getting ready for Monday Night NASCAR. The fans are piling in. It is a sellout crowd. The teams are ready to go and that can only mean one thing. It is time for another round of Alpine Stars NASCAR Cup Series racing. We're live from Charlotte Motor Speedway getting ready for NASCAR's longest night. 600 miles between between us and finding out who will win this race. Hello everybody, my name is Jeff. I was alongside my great co-host Scott Miles and Connor Speed. Good afternoon everybody, I'm Scott Miles. And I'm Connor Speed. We're here at Charlotte Motor Speedway getting ready for NASCAR's longest night, much like Jack Roberts said, the Coca-Cola 600. This is the first time ever the Alpine Stars NASCAR comes here. will be running the 600 mile event. In fact, it's a all lot of excitement here in the air for this one. We actually have a. We're actually excited for this race. And before we get to the, before we get to any of the action, let's take a look at some of the, at some of the storylines coming into this race. Brought to you by Goodyear. Goodyear, more driven. We have eight former Coca-Cola 600 winners in the field: Kyle Busch, Martin Truex Jr., Matt Kenseth, Carl Edwards, Austin Dillon, Kevin Harvick, Jimmy Johnson, and Kurt Busch. Could one of these eight drivers find their way to victory lane tonight? All four Neon Racing teams made the Coca-Cola 600 field. Alamo Joey, Connor Daly, Chase Briscoe, and Ross Chastain were all celebrating on Friday after qualifying. Will one of these drivers find their way to victory lane and score their first win of 2019 or their career? Alex Bowman actually surprised everybody by scoring his first Alpine Stars NASCAR Cup Series pole position of 2019 here on the Coca-Cola 600. Will that pole translate to a win tonight? If you're looking for a sticker in this Coca-Cola 600, you look no further than Eric Amarola and his American Hero Racing Ford Fusion sponsored by Smithfield. That team is looking very dangerous and they want to win. Can they win tonight here in the 600? Jeremy Mayfield is making his big, his second start of the 2019 season here in the Coca-Cola 600. Will it be boom or bust for the number 28 team? And don't forget to keep an eye on Scott Speed. This underdog has been feisty all season long. Will Scott Speed finally win an Alpine Stars NASCAR Cup Series event tonight? And that will do it for the pre-race show. We now take you trackside for opening ceremonies and the command to fire engines. Race, race fans, fans at, this at this time, time we, ask we ask that you, that you please, please rise, rise and remove your hats, hats in a moment of silence, silence for the fallen, fallen soldiers, soldiers of our of great, great nation. nation. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous flight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still Say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave? Sonoko, fueling victories. 
On the front row, starting on the pole position is Alex Bowman, and next to him in second is Jimmy Johnson. Row two, starting third is Eric Almarola, and in fourth, Chase Elliott. Starting the race in row number three, fifth, Carl Edwards, sixth, Kevin Harvick. Row four, starting seventh is Trevor Bain, and in the eighth, Matt Kenseth. Rounding out the top ten in row nine, Kyle Larson. Ross Chastain starts ten. In row 6, starting 11th is Austin Dillon, and in 12th it's Jamie McMurray. Row 7, starting 13th is Kurt Busch, Ryan Reed starts 14th. In row 8, starting 15th is Martin Truex Jr., and in 17th, Ryan Blaney. Row 9, starting 17th is Clint Boyer, Chase Briscoe starts 18th. Starting 19th is Darrell Wallace Jr., rounding out the top 20 will be Ty Majeski. Row 11, starting 21st, will be Scott Speed, 22nd, Nicole Behart. Starting the race in row 12, 23rd, Joey Logano, 24th, Kyle Busch. Row 13, starting 25th, James Hedgecliffe, Brad Kozlowski starts 26th. Row 14, Connor Daly starts 27th, 28th, Jeremy Mayfield. Rounding out the top 30, Justin Algar in 29th, Tyler Reddick in 30th. Rounding out the field today, riding shotgun in this field will be Alamo Jolie. And here is a look at your onboard cameras. Austin Dillon carries the Dow onboard camera. Kevin Harvick carries the Mobile One onboard camera. Chase Briscoe carries the Sunoco onboard camera. Brad Keselowski is going to join them with the Blue Deuce Beer onboard camera. Eric Almarola carries the Smithfield onboard camera. Trevor Bain has the Advocare onboard camera for us. They'll be joined by Carl Edwards with the Dodge Dealers onboard camera. And also we have Scott Speed carrying the Alltel Energy onboard camera. That's not the last of our onboards because we have Nicole Bihar with the Hot Wheels onboard camera. Kyle Bush carrying the M&M's onboard camera for us. Martin Truex Jr. carries the Fast Pro Shops onboard camera for us. And finally, Matt Kenseth carries the Dewalt Power Tools onboard camera. And this is the coolest moment you will ever see in Alpine Stars NASCAR Cup Series racing. A three wide salute for all of the military members who have served, are currently serving, and all of those who have given their lives to pay the price for the freedom that we have to go racing on a night like tonight. NASCAR on CRN wants to thank all of you for your service. God bless you all. And with that, we are ready to go racing. The pace car rolls down pit road. Connor, take it away. Pace car rolls in. Alex Bowman's going to lead us to the green flag. It's in the air. And away we go. We're racing on NASCAR's longest lane. Bowman slides up to the outside line. Three wide for the lead already. There we go. We're way on the inside line. They make a double play. Let's make the turn. So far, Eric Amarola leads lap number two. Trevor Baines wins Edwards in. It and Amarola will have it. Here comes Scott Speed. Down the back stretch they go. In the turn over three, Scott Speed and Trevor Baines side by side. Edwards looking at three wide again. Great runs for Carl Edwards. But it's not going to be enough. And Trevar Bain will lead lap number three. Three laps in. We've seen three different leaders. Now we'll make it four. Scott Speed takes the lead away. Carl Edwards still lap by side with Scott Speed. But Jones in the next hit. The Joy Baines wins the top five. Now he's making it three wide on the inside. Scott Speed will lead lap number five as the stack starts to go down. Starting to take you on Jones, North Carolina, and pretty soon it will be Night Thomas. Carl Edwards leads the field down the back foot in the turn number three. Rolling off turn number four, it'll be Carl Edwards leading lap number five. Here comes Rizzo to take the lead away on lap number six. Now Dylan follows him. Here comes Tyler Reddick. Tyler Reddick puts it over to him. Dylan knows the tail for the lead. Battle for the, a great battle for the lead as the battle lights are on. Rizzo takes the lead here on lap six. Now Dylan's going to look low. He goes high. He faces now and out. Now they split the down the middle. He falls backwards. Dylan and Kozlowski battle for the lead here on lap six, seven. And here comes Austin Dillon off turn number four. He will lead lap number eight. They go back to turn number one. Trouble in turn number one. Mojoli goes for a spin. And that's going to bring out the first caution of the night. Was there contact between Mojoli and Majeski? Oh, there definitely was contact. That's what sent Ellen around. Majeski spun out Mojoli. Pit Road is open here on lap number 10. Half the field is swarming to Pit Road. Kelly, what's going on Pit Road?
turn four tires and fuel is the only thing this team is doing. They top him up with some alcohol fuel, tighten up the last of the line, that's send the 31 on his way. Clint Boyer goes into my section of the telling Clint Chief Mike Booger Ravage that his car is absolutely tight. So they're trying to loosen him up while they're doing that. Four tires and fuel, a clean chair up for Clint Boyer, some fresh water, they send him on his way. Finally, Nicole Beamer in my section of the road telling her Clint Chief that the car is absolutely brilliant, but they'll need strategy to win this race. So two tires is the call for Beamer, they send her on her way, Calvin. Hi, thanks, Kelly. Kurt Busch is in my section of Pit Road. He told his crew chief, Billy Scott, that the car was absolutely fantastic during that last run, but he's stuck in traffic and, he, and the car just does not like it. Four tires of fuel will be the call for Kurt Busch. They send him on his way. Connor Daly and his 35 team absolutely implementing strategy much like Bihar. Two tires is the call from the 35 crew. They send the book Daly on his way. Justin Allgaier also implementing strategy as well. It's two left side tires for Justin Allgaier, and they will send the seven car on its way. Ross Chastain in my section of pit road came in. He told his crew chief that the car was absolutely phenomenal during that run. He just wants a little bit of water. That's the only call, so that's his only complaint. Four tires of fuel. They tighten up the last of the lug, and that's a clean tear off, and they send him on his way. And finally, Time of Jesse in my section of pit road. He comes in. He wants strategy. He wants two tires. Two right side tires for what's the call. They send Majeski on his way. Now let's go to Zayek. Thank you, Calvin. Right now in my section of pit road is Chase Briscoe. He's telling his crew chief that the call was absolutely fantastic during that run. So it was a two tire stop. They send him on his way. Kyle Bush comes in screaming on the radio about his car being absolutely terrible. It was tight in one and two, loose in three and four. So they're making all kinds of swings at it while giving Kyle Bush a four tire stop. They top him off with some ugly fuel and they send the 18 on his way. Chase Elliott and the 24 car absolutely had a fantastic run there, but Chase Elliott was saying that the car was loose in one and two. So they're trying to tighten him up there while trying to keep the balance up over in three and four. They give him four tires and fuel. They just top him off with some fuel and send him on his way. Here comes Eric on the into my section of pit road telling Blue Chief Trent Owens that his car was absolutely fantastic during that run. Do not touch it. So they're making a four tire and fuel stop. They top him off with some alcohol fuel. They tighten up the last of the lug nuts, give him a clean tear up, and send him on his way. And our pole sitter, Alex Bowman, comes into pit road telling Blue Chief Greg Ars that his car was absolutely fantastic during that last during that entire first thing. No chance of being made to that 88 nationwide car. Four tires and fuel. They tighten up the last of the lug nuts, a clean tear off, top off with some alcohol fuel, and send him on his way. And here is the Alpine Stars NASCAR Cup Series race off pit road. Alex Bowman won the race off pit road. Chase Elliott followed him out in second. Third, Eric Amarola. Fourth, Tom Majeski. Fifth, Chase Briscoe. Sixth, Ross Chastain. Seventh, Justin Allgaier. Eighth, Kyle Busch. Ninth goes to Kurt Busch. Rolling off pit road. Tenth was Nicole Bihar. And here we go. The green flag is going to fly here on lap number 12. Keselowski is going to lead us to the green flag. His car rolls in, and Keselowski sees the green flag. It's back in the air. We're back on the way. He guns it. He absolutely guns it going into turn one. Carl Rush wins to the outside. Now here comes Scott Speed. They make it three wide early. Down the back stretch he goes. They slip into turn number three. They slip their way into turn number three. And now off turn number four. Keselowski with all the momentum in the world. He leads lap number 12. Now here he guns it in down to turn two. Here comes Scott Speed and Ryan Reed. Ryan Reed. And he'll do it by force if he has to. Three wide for him once again. And Ryan Reed goes to the middle. He'll take the lead on lap 14. Ryan Reed leads lap number 13. Now here comes Trey Van trying to take the lead away from him. Down the back stretch they go. And a turn number three. Chase Elliott makes a three wide. He takes second away from Trevor Bain. Bain back to the inside. Three wide again. And Ryan Reed continues to lead. He's going to turn number one and two. Side by side for the lead. Chase Elliott and Ryan Reed. Ross Chastain makes a three wide for the lead again. They go into turn three and four. Rolling on turn four. Chase Elliott trying to take the lead away. Not going to do it. This time by Chase Elliott. Now takes the lead away on the front stretch. They go into turn one and two. And Joel oh, Majeski was for a spin. The caution comes out on lap 16 of 30. That's the second caution flag of the race. Let's take a look and see what happened here. Oh, but Charlie spun out Majeski. And if you all remember from earlier, lap 8 of 30, Majeski spun out Majoli, so that might have been retaliation for that. It's possible. Pit Road is open here on lap 18, and the, another half of the field decided to make stops. Kelly, what's going on, Pit Road? And thank you, guys. I'm Majeski coming to my section of Pit Road, screaming right out on the door on the radio. Crew Chief trying to calm him down, saying it's a long race. We got a long way to go. Four tires and fuel was the call from Majeski's Crew Chief. They top him up with some alcohol fuel, give him a clean job, send him on his way. Joey Legato telling Don Ford that strategy is going to come into play, so it's two right side tires for Joey Legato. They give him a splash of some alcohol fuel and send the 22 on his way. 
way, there was two also fine implementing strategy with his crew chief, two West Nine Times with a 43 time they sent Wallace on his way. Chairman Harvey also reminded section of that road telling his crew chief that the car was absolutely fantastic during that run. So Rodney Chiller says four times in fuel is the goal for this team. They they race around to the left side, top them off with Sunoco fuel, give them a clean job and send the poor car on his way, Calvin. Ah, thanks, Kelly. Clint Boyer comes into my six and pit road telling crew chief Mike Booger Rabbit that his car is absolutely fantastic during that run, so his team elects to make a two turn or stop. They send Boyer on his way. Jamie McMurray comes into my six and pit road as well telling crew chief Matt McCall that whatever adjustments they made in final practice absolutely are working under the lights. No adjustments being made to that one car. Four tires and fuel. They give McMurray a clean tear off and send him on his way. James Hinchcliffe comes in telling his crew chief that the car was absolutely amazing all race long. So they're making no adjustments and getting Hinchcliffe two right side tires. They send Hinchcliffe on his way. Proof and Carl Edwards to coming in telling crew chief Dave Rogers that his car was absolutely fantastic in the first part of the day when they were in the in the sunlight. Now that they're under the lights, the car's absolutely loose in three and four. So they tighten them up their four tires and fuel. They send him on his way. Now let's go to Zane. And thank you, Calvin. In my section of pit road, we have Connor Daly. He comes in telling his crew chief that the car was absolutely tight in three and four, so they're trying to loosen him up there. And it's four tires and fuel for Connor Daly. They send the 35 car on his way after getting a clean tear off. Now Scott B comes into my section of pit road saying whatever adjustment they made on that last out, they were absolutely working. Two times, two left sides for Connor for Scott Speed. Brad Kozlowski comes into my section of pit road and he was talking with Paul Wolf about how his car was doing. He, Kozlowski came in and told Wolf that it was tight in three and four. So they're losing him up there. Four tires and fuel, a clean tear off. They top him off with some of fuel and send him on his way. Trevor Bain, last week's winner, comes into my section of pit road telling his crew chief that the car was absolutely absolutely fantastic in the day and now that they're under the lights it's gotten even better no adjustments being made to the number six car four tires and fuel a clean tear off and they send him on his way now let's go to tyler thanks guys jeremy mayfield comes into my section of pit road saying whatever adjustments they made to the car in final practice they just are not working so it's back to the setup they unloaded with when they got here to charlotte four tires and fuel they top them off with another fuel a clean tear off and they send mayfield on his way Austin Dillon comes into my section of pit road. He tells his crew chief that the car was absolutely loose in one and two, tight in three and four. They're scratching their heads, making adjustments as well as giving Austin Dillon four tires and fuel a clean tail if they send the number three on his way. And finally, pole sitter Alex Bowman comes into the crew chief flag out that the car is absolutely fine on this run. No adjustments being made. They're going with a four tire fuel stop. They top them off with Sinoco fuel. They give them a clean tail and they send out Bowman on his way. And here is the Alpine Stars NASCAR Cup Series race off pit road. Alex Bowman once again comes off first, rolling off second, Trevor Bain. Third, Brad Keselowski. Fourth goes to Scott Speed. Rolling off fifth is Connor Daly. Rolling off sixth will be Carl Edwards. Rolling off seventh will be James Hinchcliffe. Rolling off 8th will be Jamie McMurray, Nath going to Darrell Wallace Jr., and rolling off 10th, Kevin Harvick. And here we go, getting ready for the lap 20 restart. Now, Chase Hill is going to lead to the field to the green flag. He's got Ross Chastain to his outside. Green flag back in the air. Chase Hill gets going, but so is Chastain. There, side by side. So now we're just going to split him down the middle. He'll take the away, but it might not be for long. Here comes Chase Hill. Come on, he's playing full with a run. Here comes Matt Kenseth with an amazing run. He'll lead that lap. Matt Kenseth leads lap 20. He's going down the lap. We're going here on lap 21. Kenseth leads the way. They go on a turn number three. Here they go on a four. Two X Junior takes the lead. And then Carl Lewis is down into the wall. Carl Lewis and Cliff Boyer rip it over. That's going to bring out the third caution of the night. Let's take a look at what happened. Austin Dillon's tires went down for some reason. Driver's side tires, by the way. And that's going to bring out the red flag on lap 22. The cleanup crew working on cleaning up the track. Here you see the 24 cars that are still in this race and have a chance to win. We're going to get a nice good look at that at that re, at the replay here. And in case you're wondering why we're under red flag, this big, massive pileup is why. So here's a look at it. Austin Dillon had his driver's side tires go down. Then Carl Edwards and Clint Boyer went up and over. But watch, watch, watch Bubba Wallace. He swung to the inside and got around it. 
The red flag has been lifted here on lap 2230. We will get the commands and refire the engines shortly. Alright, drivers, you can refire your engines. Crank them up. Crank them up. Nothing more sweeter than hearing the sound of the engines being refired. All right, they roll away from the front stretch, and this should give us a chance to look at what happened in real time. It happened so fast. Watch Austin Dillon here. The tires go down, he and then everyone, and then it's just on from there. All right, pit road is open. Teams are likely to make one last stop, so you know what that means. It's money stop time. Kelly, what's going on, on over on pit road? Thanks, guys. Amos Burt comes into my section of pit road telling crew chief Matt McCall that whatever adjustments they make to the car underneath that last stop, Oh yeah, they're working, and they can go for a long run. Four tires and fuel the car from McMurray, they top him off with Sinoco fuel and send him on his way. Baba Wallace coming in telling his crew chief that they need strategy to win this race, so it's a two tire stop, two light tires for Baba Wallace, they send him on his way. Moving on over to James Hedgley, he tells his crew chief once again that two tires, a two tire stop is the call, so it's two left left tires for Hedgley, they send the 97 on his way. And finally, in my section of pit road is Scott Speed. He tells his crew chief that the car is absolutely fantastic. Two right side tires for Scott Speed. They send him on his way, Calvin. Ah, thanks, Jelly. Jeremy Bowens brings Ryan Blaney into my section of pit road. Ryan Blaney saying that the car was absolutely fantastic, but that was also a very short run. Four tires and fuel the cars because they're not taking chances. They top him off with some over fuel, give him a clean tear off, send him on his way. Tyler Reddick comes in, he says that his car's been fantastic all race long. So it's a two-tire stop, they give him two left side tires, they send Tyler Reddick on his way. Connor Daly also coming into my section of pit road, he tells his crew chief that the car was absolutely fine during that run, but it was also a short run, so two left side tires for Connor Daly, they send him on his way. And Justin Allgaier in my section of pit road, he tells his crew chief that the car was absolutely fast during that run, but they just couldn't do anything because it was so short. So they're going with a two left side tire stop. They send him on his way, going to Zach. And thank you, Calvin. Now the Jolie goes into my section of pit road. Steve Latart says, we got the car, we got the driver. Now go show them what you can do. Four tires and fuel is the call for the number 68 team. They top him off with an over two fuel, give him a clean tear off, send him on his way. Teammate Ross Chastain is doing the same thing as Allen's team is doing. Four tires and fuel is the call for the number five team. They race around to the left side, tying up the last of the left side going nuts. Top him off with an uncle fuel, a clean tear off, they send him on his way. Chase Elliott comes into my section of the road as well, telling his crew chief Alan Gustafson that the car is absolutely bad fast. However, they just couldn't get anything going because of the, the run was so short. So four tires and fuel for Chase Elliott. They top him off with an uncle fuel, a clean tear off, and they send him on his way. And finally, Ryan Reed comes into my section of the road, telling his crew chief that the car was absolutely fantastic, and they're hoping for a short run. Two left side tires is the call for Ryan Reed. They send him on his way. Tyler. Thanks, Zach. Right now in my section of pit road, Trevor Bain comes in. He tells his, his crew chief that the run was so short that he couldn't get a gauge on the car. So four tires and fuel for the number six Ford Fusion sponsored by Advocate. They top him up with Senator Gofield, a clean tail, and they send Trevor Bain on his way. Moving over to Jimmy Johnson's set. Moving over to Jimmy Johnson's pit road. Crew chief Jack Canales telling his crew four tires and fuel is the call. No exceptions here. No mistakes. And the Jackman slipped. The Jackman slipped. He quickly back up on his feet, but that's going to be costly. They they complete the stop, but what a mess for Jimmy Johnson. Crew chief Craig Einstein also bringing Bowman in. He says no mistakes either. Four tires and fuel for the 88 team. They race around to the left side. Flawless so far. Now they top him up with an over fuel tank of the last of the lug nuts. Get him a clean turn off and send down Bowman on his way. And here is the Alpine Stars NASCAR Cup Series race off pit road. Once again, Alex Bowman wins the race off pit road. Rolling off second will be Trevor Bain. Ryan Reed rolls off third. Chase Elliott rolls off fourth. Rolling off fifth will be Tyler Reddick. Sixth will be Ryan Blaney. Seventh, Scott Speed. Eighth, Justin Allgaier. Ninth, Connor Daly. And rolling off pit road tenth will be Jimmy Johnson. And here we go. Lap 25 of 30. 
Pace car rolls down the pit road. Martin Truex Jr. will lead the field to the green flag. It's Bagginier with Bagginier. They hit for turn number one. Truex Jr. is staying right front. Being hard to the outside. She tries to take it outside, but I think Truex Jr. field blind. He'll go into turn number three. And a turn number three. Now Kyle Larson takes the lead from away. He'll lead lap number 26. Here comes Kyle Larson trying to take the lead back. Side by side. Kyle Larson takes the lead. Let's see if Kyle Larson can hold the line. They go into turn number three. Not for long. McMurray's got to run off full. McMurray will lead that lap. Four laps to go here. This is Tyler Thomas trying to take the lead. Behar goes to the inside. Three wide for the lead. And it's a four car bringing for the lead here. And they go to turn number three. Behar's got to run off the inside. She'll take the lead away. Behar leads left 27. Three laps to go here. And Charlotte Mercy with Kurt Bush tucks the right behind Chase Briscoe. Briscoe's got to take the lead. He'll roll up to turn number three and four. Left 29. Left 28. Down two laps to go. Down three wide for the lead. Yet again. Harley with the lead. Can he hold on to it? Here comes Hedgeman. He's trying to be the first guy in the game. And that's going to be the top level. He's going to turn three and four. Coming to the left by him. He's going to be in the middle of his time. Can Chase Briscoe lead? Kevin Harley dealing with him. Side by side. He's as Kurt Busch tries to go. Here comes Kurt Busch. He's at the move. Three wide. He'll take the lead away. Turn three. Rolling through turn four. Chase Briscoe and Kurt Busch side by side. Kurt Busch wins the Coca-Cola 600. Kurt Busch wins the second crown jewel of 2019. He'll go up to his third finish line and take his checkered flag. And now Kurt Busch begins to burn it down and man does he know how to do burnouts. After winning the Daytona 500, this should be a common sight for a victory lane once again. A big hearty congratulations to Kurt Busch and his number 41 Stuart Haas racing team on the big win in tonight's Coca-Cola 600. And with that, we're done with the racing. Now let's take a look at the unofficial race results. And here are the unofficial race results for tonight's Coca-Cola 600. Kurt Busch wins the race leading the last lap. Chase Briscoe finishes second. Third, Nicole Bihar. Fourth, Kyle Larson. Fifth, Kevin Harvick. Sixth, Eric Amarola. Seventh, James Hinchcliffe. Eighth, Jamie McMurray. Ninth, Chase Elliott. Rounding up the top ten is Mark Joy Jr. Eleventh place, Ryan Blaney. Twelfth, Ryan Reed. Thirteenth, Kyle Busch. Fourteenth, Tyler Ruddy. Fifteenth, Alan Majoli. Sixteenth, going to Matt Kenseth. Finishing seventeenth will be Alex Bowling. Eighteenth, Darrell Wallace Jr. Nineteenth, Connor Daly. Rounding out the top twenty is Jimmy Johnson. 21st, Trevor Bain, 22nd, Ross Chastain, 23rd, Justin Allgaier, 24th, Scott Speed, 25th, Austin Dillon, 26th, Brad Keselowski, 27th, Jeremy Mayfield, 28th, Carl Edwards, 29th, Clint Boyer, rounding out the top 30 is Joey Logano, and rounding out the field in 31st today is Ty Majeski. Everyone from 25th on back did not finish this race, and now let's go take a look at the Alpine Stars NASCAR Cup Series point standings after this race. Here are the Alpine Stars NASCAR Cup Series points after race three of the 2019 season. Kurt Busch leads the points, but he's got a one point lead over Kyle Larson. Chase Elliott third, Eric Amarola fourth, Chase Briscoe fifth, Trevor Bain sixth, seventh Nicole Bihar, eighth Martin Truex Jr., ninth Ross Chastain, Alex Bowen rounds out the top ten. All 11th place, Ryan Blaney, 12th place, Jimmy Johnson, 13th, Scott Speed, 14th, Matt Kenseth, Bubba Wallace in 15th, 16th, Ryan Reed, 17th, James Hinchcliffe, 18th, Kyle Busch, 19th, Kevin Harvick, lining up the top 20 in points is Alan Richarley. 21st, Jamie McMurray, 22nd, Ty Majewski, 23rd, Joey Logano, Justin Allgaier, 24th, 25th, William Byron, 26th, Brad Kuzowski, 27th, Carl Lewis, 28th, Paige Decker, 29th, Tyler Ruddy, rounding out the top 30 in points is Jeremy Mayfield. 21st, 31st, Connor Daly, 32nd, Ryan Vietti, San Jr., Ryan Hunter Lay, 33rd, 34th, Daniel Hammer, Austin Dillon, 35th, 36th, Glenn Boyer, 37th, David Starr, Landon Castle, 38th, 39th, Natalie Decker, Eric Jones, 40th, 41st, Alexander Rossi, 42nd, Matt Tip, Simone D. Silvestro, 43rd, Reed Sorensen, 44th, 45th, Casey Atwood, and Christopher Bell rounds out the points at 46th. And we thank you for watching. When we meet up again, it will be for the Sunoco Southern 500 at Darlington Raceway. So until we get done in there, on behalf of our camera crews, pit reporters, my great co host Scott Miles, and Jack Roberts, I'm Connor Speed, signing off for now, saying so long, and that be good night, satellite transmission, and now.